Jessie B. Scrapbooking back with another process video and today I am doing the um, 6x6 paper pad class and I'm working on a, a second page um, for here this layout so I did this one last week so I'm going to do a second page to it with these pictures this was me and my snowman or my snow bear and so I want the pages to kind of coordinate but uh, not use the same I don't want it to be a double page exactly so I'm going to use this next sketch but use the same papers that I used um, earlier so yeah let's see how I do Okay, so the first thing I did was I cut myself a um, piece of paper that was 8x8 eight eight square. And I cut out, cut down all these um, leftover pattern pieces in 3 inches, uh, 3 of them at 3 inches, and the rest of them at 1 inch. And I'm just trying to find how I want these all to kind of lay on here. I really like having the bigger three inch pattern on here um, because then you could see I, I use it for the snowflakes and you can really kind of tell that they are snowflakes. So this one and the blue one and the green one both. And then I use the red as um, my third one. So um, I'm just going to, I've already folded the paper. Um, in half, um, two ways, so that I could have it an X, so I know where the center was. And then I drew a line, a diagonal, and that gives me my first line where I'm going to add um, my first row of small squares. I've decided to put these all onto the um, square background. Because it um, is, I can move them all around as a big, um, what do you call it, embellishment or one piece um, when I finally decide to put it onto the layout. Um, so I'm just tacking kind of all the pieces down right this second. So there's not a lot of... Um, adhesive on it so that I can uh, move them around and figure out exactly where I want them. And here's where I notice that um, once I put my pictures on, I'm going to cover up everything. So I'm using my mat there because I know it's at 11 inches. And if it doesn't go over the edge, it'll be perfect. Um, and I'll have at least an inch all the way around when I lay it onto the background. So that's why I keep moving and adjusting it so that it does sit on there um, just right so that I know that I'm not going to be going over my um, background page when I put it down. So the ones that I know I like and the spots that I like them, I'm going ahead and um, glue them down a little bit better using my APG tape runner there. and. Um, Yep, I'm just going to keep bringing the picture in, looking at it, and deciding exactly where I want it. Because I really just don't want to waste all that paper behind the pictures if you'll never see them. I do waste a couple of them, in my opinion, because I wasn't paying real close attention when I put that first row down. But it's okay. It, it still works out. So... Yeah, this takes a, a little bit of time here. Um, I really love this um, paper. It's a, a digital um, paper that I printed out, a digital collection that I printed out um, on my, um, I have an Epson wide format printer. And uh, so I printed out, uh, I think it was eight different patterns from the the collection here 
and that's what I um, used on my other layout so I'm going to continue using it on this one and I like the way that it ties the two together since um, they are both both sets of pictures were taken the exact same um, day so here is where I'm going to commit to gluing those down and then I cut them out um, <laughs> I didn't cut them out on camera but you can see how I can move everything and you can see how they're all cut out um, except for where the picture is going to be I wasn't worried about that and then I can just glue them all down in this one great big um, piece and I was able to get it right where I wanted and not worry about trying to line it up on that background page um, as individuals that would have taken me forever so I am liking this and I went to my um, sewing machine and I sewed all the way around the big squares and some of the small squares and um, you'll see that better in the close-up I used it's a blue thread but it pretty much looks white it's a very very light blue but uh, it just gives it that little bit a different texture and I haven't been doing um, sewing on my layouts lately and my sewing machine was out from uh, I was making my daughter a costume for um, BBS and so the sewing machine was still out so I figured I might as well use it and uh, yeah so I'm going to pop up the pictures onto this fun foam I've already matted it in the different pattern papers that I've used in the background so I did the bear on two uh, mats and then the picture of me and the bear just on one darker mat. And uh, I like the way that that um, it pops them off the page and then the, having the foam really makes them stand off the page and so they don't get lost in all that pattern in the background. These um, letter stickers are from October afternoon and I cannot tell you when I got them I, they've just been in my stash for quite a while and um, they're jean and wood and I don't know if they came from a collection or anything I picked them up at um, my local scrapbooking store that um, I had them with the single papers and I got them on sale for like 50 cents and I really like them they have lots and lots of letters so my title no bear and at first I was thinking I was gonna put it up there even though the sketch has it in the bottom here where I'm putting it now um, I thought I'd put it at the top because everything's so low but the darker colors made it very difficult to really see the title so bringing it down I like that a lot better and um, I'm just going to put the bigger snowflakes up here to bring more weight back up to the top too to even it all out and uh, so I'm getting down to the end of my snowflakes here I might have to before next winter I'm going to definitely have to um, cut out some more snowflakes these snowflakes are from Spiegel mom scraps um, I got a free cut file from them and I really like them so I'm using them and then I have these um, they're like buttons they're snowflakes and I get them at the button aisle at Walmart and um, yeah I think they give it a really nice um, dimension to the um, just snowflakes especially in person it's harder to see on camera but in real life they really pop off the page so I didn't push the stickers down for my title yet until I was sure that's where I wanted them and because these stickers stick really well they do not fall off and so I get them all stuck down happy with that and then I bring in the rubbins that I used on the other page just to give it that little bit of 
cohesiveness between the two pages. And I'm doing just going to do three uh, rubbins on the three different sides of the pist picture cluster. <laughs> so there's not really a big cluster down on the bottom. It's more of like just clusters all the way around the um, pictures. But I try to keep things in threes around, like the red. I made sure it had, there was red on top and red on each side, and I like that. And then try to make sure that I had the snowflakes at at least one on the top, one on the side, and one on the bottom. So that's on three different sides of the pictures. And I'm going to add these black puffy paint in um, just some dots that come kind of remind me of like uh, sprigs of um, leaves like poking out of the not leaves but little dots anyways uh, poking out from behind the different um, snowflakes and I thought I was going to be done right here I thought this was my finishing touch and then I decide I want to add some um, word stickers. So I'm going to turn the camera off and add the word stickers and then turn the camera back on and realize I wanted to do more. So you won't see me add the word stickers, but I will show you them right here. I have just add three little phrase stickers right there. And now I want to add these um, snowflakes that are uh, wood veneer. Um, because of that bear word, it seems like it was poking out just a little bit too much. So I grab my um, washable Crayola markers and I find a color that matched pretty good to the um, bear. And it is wood grain too, so it um, I'm trying to keep that wood grain look to the wood veneer. And... I put them on this little ruler thinking I could pop them right back off. Well, I break the first one popping it off. So I know I'm going to have to tuck it somewhere. So I poke that little piece right off of it. So I put that. And this one here, I use my little and kind of go underneath the. It's uh, held on with a glue dot. And I go underneath and pop it right off. And I like that a lot better. Now it gives me that brown in three different spots as well. Well, that's my layout. I hope you like it. Um, if you do, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.